Hello and welcome to your Citrus TV News Brief. I'm Joe Leonard and here are today's top stories. At least one person in de is dead and over 100 are injured after a train plowed through a major train station in Hoboken, New Jersey. The train overran its stopping point and hit a bumper, causing it to fly up and crash into the terminal. The Hoboken station is one of the busiest in the state and this has left hundreds stranded without an easy way home. Pakistani and Indian soldiers clashed today in the disputed territory of Kashmir, leaving two Pakistani soldiers dead. The Indian government said that they were attempting to foil a terrorist attack. However, the Pakistani government said things were under control until Indian soldiers opened fire. The two countries have fought for control over Kashmir for 70 years. Police in San Diego suburbs shot and killed Ugandan refugee Alfred Alongo today after he pulled out an e-cigarette and pointed it like a gun at the officers. El Cajon police released this picture of Alongo in a, quote, shooting stance right before he was shot. The officers were called to the scene by Alongo's sister, who said that he was mentally unwell and needed help. Citizens of El Cajon have taken to the streets to protest this shooting. Local restaurants have teamed up with local artists in a fundraising effort to help the hungry. For just $20, people can buy a handmade ceramic bowl and fill it with different soups from 16 local restaurants. All of the money earned will be donated to food pantries in Onondaga County. The fundraiser will be at the Nancy Cantor Warehouse on West Fayette Street tomorrow from 11 to 2. It's been a cloudy day today and it's getting a little chilly. Find out when it'll clear up at 6 when Brendan Tierney has your full weather forecast. That's all we have for today. For Citrus TV News, I'm Joe Leonard. Have a great night, Syracuse.